okay let's talk about geometric mean here if three or more than three numbers are there okay uh, they are in GP so we can say that uh, the all numbers lying between first and the last term are known as geometric mean what is the meaning of geometric means like previously we discussed in AP arithmetic progression geometric mean is nothing but mean is nothing but average same here mean is nothing but average okay average of of geometric series we are talking about okay so when we are talking about means in addition we have taken as a plus b by 2 but here because since there we worked, we worked out with the common uh, common ratio here the average uh, we have to work out with the common ratio okay so there was common difference here common ratio basically i'm talking about in ap common difference and gp common ratio as so first before explaining anything i'll just want to explain about three numbers when i'll say a b and c are in gp so what will be the common ratio of b by a the first two terms and c by b is from the next consecutive terms but we know that common ratio will be same in gp so we can say that these both are equal so i can write as b by a is equal to c by b so if i'll do cross multiplication here i'll get b square which is nothing but equal to ac and finally i got b is equal to under root of ac so the meaning of this now b is nothing but a geometric mean as i mentioned in the first statement that whatever the numbers we have in between the first and the last term those are known as symmetric means the average quantities so here the g the b is known as my geometric mean okay so b is nothing but under root of ac now as, now don't get confused with this given thing now if i'll talk about this let us suppose if i have a and b are the two numbers and it been in between we have a g so definitely g i can write as under root of kb okay which is i have mentioned here okay hope this thing is clear how i got these things okay now from this i can analyze one thing that if i have n number of terms in between first and last term so what will be my geometric mean for the n number of terms definitely as you can see that if i was having the two numbers and i got the power okay or geometric mean which is nothing but the ac the product of ac and the whole power is 1 by 2 if we have a three numbers i can say that a b c or any number a b d which is okay so so the power here will be 1 by 3 for three numbers four numbers power will be 1 by 4 5 1 by 5 so similarly if i have n number so if i'll say a1 a2 8, a till a n are the n number so the geometric mean for n positive number will be a1 a2 a3 the product the whole power as 1 by n okay now for if a and b are two uh, two positive numbers the geometry will uh, two opposite numbers basically geometry will doesn't exist yes why it doesn't okay because the reason is as you know root under ac if a and c both are opposite side okay it means a is positive c is negative definitely the product of positive and negative will be negative only and inside this root will get negative inside it will root will root will get negative ac that negative ac shows that the inside the root negative shows that that this doesn't exist we know that this is somewhat called as imaginary from the complex number so this thing does not exist that's why the geometry geometry mean does not exist okay 